My name is Rhonda Kennedy, and I, I don't go negative on candidates, but tonight I'm going to say that most of the campaigns, one person's campaign, entire campaign is Rhonda Kennedy, without saying her name. This is what she did, this is who she is. Why are you, why are you uh, wasting your time not saying what are you going to do when you get to the U.S. Senate? First of all, you gotta know what job you're doing. You have to be a fighter, and you have to be able to take punches like that, which I can. So let's just get to the point. The elephant in the room is, I'm a California lawyer. I, was, I moved here in 2000 to, to Nevada. Um, I met my husband here. My son graduated from high school here. I was pregnant with triplets. I went and had my, my, my triplets in San Diego at the Mary Birch Hospital, which is the, which is the multiple hospital. If you have multiples, that's where you go. I ran for Congress. I was asked by the California State Republican Party to run. I ran and did well in 2020. Of course, election fraud. I filed and still have the only pending election fraud 2020 case that won once in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals and is still there. When COVID happened and they closed businesses down, they shut our gun stores down and deemed them non-essential. I was the attorney that people came to and asked for help. I filed the federal lawsuit that opened the gun stores and, now, and one in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, if, if there's ever another pandemic, guns, guns will be deemed essential because I filed the federal lawsuit that deemed them essential. I opened businesses. When the, when, the, when the government went after them and they were fighting them, one business was fined $600,000. When they came to me, I got their fine reduced to $2,500. The other businesses I represented got no fines, no penalties and they kept their health permits because I forced them to dismiss their lawsuits because I out-procedured them by filing, removing it from state court, moving it to federal court, and filed for a Fifth Amendment violation which is under the takings clause because if you wanted businesses to close, you need to give them just compensation for closing their business. They didn't want to deal with that, so they dismissed the lawsuits. After that, I, I defended, and I, I successfully defended firefighters, police officers, and military who were being forced vaccinated. I stopped that. I didn't have to file a lawsuit. They just didn't want to deal with me, so they stopped it. Right after that, I was witch hunted by the state bar because they wanted to silence me because I stood up for the Constitution, and I would do it again, no matter what anybody throws at me. I spent $150,000 in a two-and-a-half-year witch hunt. And if you read my state bar complaint after I got people who actually called me and told me that a DA in Ventura County told them to file a complaint on me. And to think that people, the bullets that I have taken for not just my family, but for everyone in this entire country defending the one thing that protects us from tyranny, and that is the Constitution. I'm not going to go away. I'm not going to shy away. I'm a fighter. And anybody that wants to bring it, they can, they can bring it on. And, and on May 2nd, when I go to court for Meta, which I sued Facebook Meta when they banned and took my Facebook page, and they gave it back after I filed my federal lawsuit, I'm going to keep fighting. Even if I don't get it through, through the primary, I'm not going away. I will continue to fight for this country. Thank you. My name is Rhonda Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. That was a great talk.